So at 14, I'm guessing most of you were either going to school, doing homework, or playing football in the park with your mates, right? Well, for 14-year-old Paraguayan one kid, Fernando Ovela, that isn't exactly the case. Last weekend, he scored a goal in the Paraguayan derby for Cerro Porteno in the Paraguayan League. A remarkable achievement and the youngest ever player to play and score in the Paraguayan League. So why not create him in FIFA 19 and see how he performs in FIFA 19 career mode. Can he compete with the big boys? Let's go ahead and find out. Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here and welcome back to another one of those player experiments in FIFA 19 career mode or player growth tests in FIFA 19 career mode. We're back again with a bit of a special case. It's Fernando Ovala, the 14 year old Paraguayan. He's a striker, seven, number 17. He's 14 years old, but the youngest I could make him on FIFA 19 is 15, uh, born in December. He's actually born in 2004, uh, so I couldn't make him uh, 14 years of age, but uh, 15 is the youngest I could make him. And there was another problem with making of uh, the Paraguayan league and even the Paraguayan team that he plays for in real life isn't even in FIFA or hasn't even been in FIFA. So I couldn't really put him in the team he plays for. So I had to pick a random team. I couldn't add them into the game because I haven't got PC and I can't add mods and stuff. So um, unfortunately, we had to put him in Crotone basically because they just have similar colors to the team he plays for in real life. That is probably my only excuse. I had no idea what team to put him in. He's five foot eight. He's got a lean body type. He scored a great goal in real life, a little chip over the keeper. He was one-on-one -on -one and did really, really well with that. But we're going through his stats here, crossing 65, finishing 74, heading accuracy, uh, 65, short pass 69, volley 64, and a three-star weak foot. Kind of had to guesstimate these stats as well. We just left defending on the default. Dribbling is a 74, 65 curve, 50 free kick accuracy. Like, we haven't, he hasn't really taken many free kicks, hasn't really scored any free kick goals. So, uh, just had to leave it at 50. Long pass about 56, 72 ball control. He seemed like he had decent control over the ball in the highlights that I watched. Uh, the derby of Paraguay it seemed a really really good like a good game to watch shot power jumping stamina all in the 60s 65 66 60 uh, strength 46 I mean he's a 14 year old I can't imagine him having that much strength doesn't really look like the most powerful uh, type of person uh, long shot 66 probably hasn't really hit the gym even uh, but we move on to movement stats and this is probably where he's the most consistent acceleration 75 low center of gravity and stuff so he's pretty quick uh, 72 agility 74 reaction 70 and balance at a 75 so movement is probably his strongest category at the moment in terms of stats but we move on to mentality this way kind of falls off a bit aggression at a 45 i mean he's 14 up against some you know 20 year old plus men so he can't he's pr probably not that aggressive interceptions about a 44 he's got decent attack positioning around 68 64 vision and 40 penalties i mean we could he hasn't really scored any penalties we haven't really seen him score penalties so i've just left it at 40 he's five foot eight number 17 in real life so we've given him that number uh, let's um, see what he can do for crotone that's just a team I put him in, but we're ready to put him into FIFA 19 career mode, see how he grows, see how he develops over the years, and see what type of wonder kid he's going to become in the upcoming seasons, and see if he's going to live up to his potential. I mean, 69 overall is pretty decent for a 14-year-old slash 15-year-old in FIFA 19, but we're going to put him into career mode, and we're going to simulate through the seasons. Uh, check up on him every season to see how he's doing in uh, with his growth and his stats and all that. But that is him in career mode. He has potential to be special, which is me means pretty much he should be hitting 90 easily. So let me know down in the comments below before you watch what season do you reckon Ovala will hit 90. But we're going to simulate through the seasons and see how far Ovala will grow, will grow and see how the Paraguayan will do in FIFA 19 career mode. Has potential to be special. He's got a lot of potential in career mode. 69 rated. I don't know. Let me know if that's a bit too high, a bit too low for the 14-year-old. He's 15. The youngest we can make him. He's got four-star skill moves. 
and no traits whatsoever but a medium medium work rate 50 composure which is pretty um pretty uh, low i mean considering he scored a great chip to over the keeper for the goal in real life he's worth two million pounds on 5k a week i'm going to see how his valuation goes up his growth his overall his stats all go up and hopefully we get a wonder kid by the end of it that is a 90 plus it has potential to be special and hopefully he fulfills uh, his potential in FIFA 19 Karima. but we're going into season number one at the end of it and because I had some difficulties with Crotone the team I put him in uh, unfortunately I got fired so I ended up putting him in Empoli so yeah I don't know just another random team to see if he could help them stay afloat in Serie A this is him at Empoli and yeah um, we signed him up on a new contract and we're all good to go ready to simulate but that's the reason why he changed clubs because I kept getting fired with Crotone wasn't uh, meeting their expectations and we're back with Empoli. Let me know what team I should have put him in because I don't know. I didn't. I had no clue where to put him. But let's see if he can keep Empoli afloat. We're just going to simulate the first Coppa Nazionale match against Lecce uh, in Serie B. We're going to put Ovala and Caputo up top. So hopefully they can form a little strike partnership in the Coppa Italia. But it's Lecce we're taking on at home. Hopefully Empoli uh, can be a good place for uh, Overlaw to grow in the future and he gets a goal in his first game as a pro well his second game as a professional considering the one he did in real life 2-1 so far to Empoli uh, Lecce get a goal back there but it's Caputo and Ovala hopefully forming a bit of a partnership to help keep Empoli alive and survive in Serie A uh, Pascal finishes it off making it 3-1 but we put a few training drills on him. You can see all the gold ones, speed shooting, one-on-one -on -one bucket race, pass to the mini net, crossing scenarios. So hopefully those few training sessions I did before the simulation helped him grow. But it looks like he's helped keep Empoli afloat in Seti R by one point. A very, very tight relegation race day. Udinese, Atalanta and Fiorentina of all teams going down. You expect Fiorentina to be in the top half of the table and they've finished bottom with 29 points. But that is not the uh, focus of today's video. Empoli have stayed up. He's kept Empoli in Serie A. Let's see how Ovala has done his, in his first season with Empoli. Let's see how many goals he's got, how he's grown, and what his performances were like with the uh, Tuscan club as we go into... I still can't believe he kept them up by one point, but it looks like uh, Ovala has done a bit well here with his strike partner, Caputo. But Ovala has gone up three to a 72 rated. Still has potential to be special he's very happy at Empoli and he's in good form at the moment match fit as well he's played 28 games all season 26 in Serie A he's got himself eight goals and five assists for Empoli so a pretty decent season for a 15 year old now 16 year old in FIFA 19 career mode of showing his worth uh, four star skills of course and his agility jumping sprint speed stamina uh, vision or going up the technicals all going up as well except curve but it's good to see all these stats are increasing slowly slowly and he's up into the 70s at a 72 uh, which is a really decent first season for him he's worth 6 million now 16 years of age and on 6k a week um, hopefully he can continue improving I mean that's a that's a decent first season for a 15 year old in Serie A I mean not many 15 year olds can say that besides maybe Pietro Pellegrini but that's another story it's the Paraguayan Ovala uh, we've got him here in Empoli let's see how he does in season number two all right so we've arrived at season number two and it seems like he's kept Empoli up again in Serie A getting 38 points this time the relegation race was a bit wider and his former team Crotone were in there as well finishing bottom but he's kept Empoli alive in Serie A with 38 points, 9 wins, 11 draws and 18 losses finishing in 15th place or uh, two places above last season so a uh, bit more of a comfortable season for Empoli in the top flight and it looks like Ovalas secured himself another season of Serie A football uh, for next season as we look 
at his growth. He's gone up four, up to a 76 at 17 years of age. Still potential to be special and he's very happy at the club, which is good to see. And also, he's made uh, himself a gold player if he was on Ultimate Team. 75 plus is usually a gold player and he's up to a 76. It's four growth. It's one more than last season and the 17 year old has bagged himself uh, eight goals and four assists in 35 games. He's played seven games more than season number one, but got one less assist. But consistent output from the man as his sprint speed, stamina, vision, attack positioning, and agility have gone up. Uh, composure and interceptions are up by one as well. And technically, he's had a great season in terms of his technical stats all going up. We can see a few light greens there as well. Finishing, dribbling, short passing, and ball control is absolutely through the roof at the moment. And the technical stats are looking beautiful already. And we're only two seasons in uh, for the Paraguayan 17-year-old. He's still got a few seasons left in him. We're going to simulate to, see, to season number three to see if he can keep up these consistent performances for Empoli in Serie A. Uh, he's worth 15 million now. He's uh, up of 157%. We're going to sign him up on a new contract so he stays with Empoli. Uh, he's, temp he's getting 10.5k a week at 17 years of age. I mean... Oh my god, I could not imagine that. But uh, he's got a crucial squad role as well. And he's probably going to be the talisman for Empoli next season. So hopefully, season number three, he can produce the goods. And we've arrived at season number three. And he's kept Empoli alive again. Three seasons running. Uh, one place above last season in 14th. We've got 41 points to their name. 11 wins, 8 draws, and 19 losses. And this time they've safely stayed alive. So he secured himself a fourth season in a row um, with Serie A football, top flight football. And he's gone up to an 80 rating plus four for Ovala. And uh, before I went into the next season, he went up to a 77. So after I showed you guys that he moved up to a 76, he moved up to a 77. So that's why it says plus three. But he's gone up four from last season. He's at an 80. He's played 41 games, scored two goals and three assists. So his output's gone a bit uh, low. I mean, that's probably his worst season he's had. Still a great season for an 18-year-old. Two goals and three assists is uh, pretty good for a teenager. And But in comparison to his last two seasons, He's dipped in form a little, but he's an 80 rating now, and the growth and the stats are looking absolutely insane at the moment. His sprint speed has gone up to dark green. We've got a lot of light greens in there as his physicals keep going up. His technicals are absolutely through the roof. Marking and long passing are the only stats that haven't gone up. But ball control, long shots, short passing, dribbling, finishing, and now volleys are in the dark greens. For the Paraguayan, he's now with 27 million pounds, getting 10.5k a week still, and he is 80 rated for Empoli. We'll sign him up on a nice five-year contract, getting 16k a week now, and the Paraguayan is looking very, very good in Serie A. Still only 18 years of age, and we've reached season number four. Ended up getting fired with Empoli, so now we can only see uh, the, st the transfer hub version of him. We can't see how many goals he scored per season, but this is season number four, and those stats are just looking absolutely insane. Hot 90s for a lot of his technical stats. He's going to be a great player to use, and he's got light greens and technical ability as well. Sprint speed is through the roof as well. So a pacey 19-year-old Paraguayan striker, Ovala, still at Empoli, still going strong in Serie A. We're going to see how he does. In season number five, he's finally hit 20. He's finally nearly an adult, nearly 21, but he's 20 years of age at 86. He's gone up three, and he's nearly, he's near, edging close to that 90 overall. That something to be special tag is... Um, Something to be special? No, potential to be special. I don't know what I was saying there. But his stats, obviously, are just going to keep increasing. 20 years of age, Paraguayan, 86 rated. This man is absolutely insane. And if he gets added into FIFA or Football Manager, he's going to be a great player to pick up. Dark greens in ball control, crossing, dribbling, finishing, uh, free, uh, free kick accuracy, I believe that is, short passing, volley, shot power, long shots, the list goes on. What this man can't do, I do not know. He's worth 76 million now, 42k a week at 20 years of age. Uh, Ampoli are lucky to have this Paraguayan wonder kid on their side. And in season number six, 
Fernando Ovila, the 14-year-old wonder kid, at 21 years of age, has hit a 90 rating. And we finally got, he's got um, dark greens and technical ability as well, and acceleration and sprint speed, both in the 90s. I mean, is there much you can ask of this 21-year-old now? Probably one of the best strikers in the world, and it's taken six seasons to simulate through. His technical stats are just, that's filthy. I mean, a wonder kid getting up to this level, potential to be special. He is definitely one for the future, one to look out for in career mode and in real life to see if he ever gets added. And he's finally hit the 100 million mark in terms of valuation. He's worth 105.5 million pounds, uh, getting 9.6k a week. So his contract's gone down a bit there in terms of money a week. And I believe that's because Empoli got uh, relegated to Serie B. So they mightn't have had enough money to uh, put in his contract, but he stayed loyal to Empoli. Uh, he's still there as we go into season number seven. 22 years of age now. He's hit 92. I mean, he's pretty much uh, the next Paraguay. He's pretty much the Paraguayan Messi, Paraguayan Neymar, Paraguayan Ronaldo, whatever you want to call him. It's season number seven, 92. And this is the last season for Fernando Ovala in career mode. The 14-year-old won the kid seemed to have hit his potential in FIFA 19 career mode. It's taken seven seasons, seven seasons in, and he's still 22 years of age. It's absolutely crazy. But the Paraguayans have a lot to look forward to in terms of young star players. As you can see, his technical ability is just absolutely through the roof at the moment. And wow, what a player. Paraguay have on their hands here. Hopefully he gets added into FIFA or Football Manager in the near future. He's now with 126.5 million, getting 43k a week. Still 22 years of age. Guys, hopefully you did enjoy this, gro this growth test slash player experiment in FIFA 19 career mode. If you are on the hype train for Fernando Ovalar, hit the like button down below. Subscribe for some more FIFA 19 experiments and content on the channel. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the very next video.